Summer dream, summer dream. Hi, guys, and welcome back to our podcast for Chuang Asia. We'll be reviewing episode eight, part one and two with the third round of performances. These performances were a little bit different. They had a guest performer involved in the stages. So kind of like all the previous Chuangs. I was about to say Chuang 2020 because that's the only one I watched besides this one because I was not watching 2021. But nevertheless, I don't think Anissa has a top nine this week, but I'm sure it is very similar to the last one. Is it correct? Yeah, it's pretty much similar to the last one, and I just wanted to wait for the elimination episode to make a new top nine because it's not really changing a lot. So it's always my usuals. Wonka is my one pick. So, and Ruan is mine. Yeah, yes, that's what it is. I'm keeping my promise. And like, if you ever do something again, I will vote for you. But I've yep. been slacking. So if you if you've been slacking, we need to get back on that Tencent app and start voting for these girls, especially more so. Especially now, because we're about to get into those next eliminations, and it's the finale soon. So the crazy thing is that I think this elimination we had like a week and a half of voting. I couldn't yeah. vote once I activated. The, like when you vote consecutively, they yeah. give you bonus points. Once mm. my bonus points were supposed to activate, they were like, "Oh, there's a problem with your app. You can't <laughs> vote anymore." So I couldn't vote like the last five days or something. Oh God! So I'm like, "Okay, here we go." There's like Wonka just. You'll be fine. Yeah, I just have to hope for the best now. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. But do you have any honorable mentions this week to any trainees that really? And we can, you can like dive into it on their like performance, but just like. Yeah, I think just the Mindy girls in general who are remaining now, like Mm -hmm. Eileen, Ming Ming, and Mm Pearl, they just always, they're always impressing me. And Mm -hmm. Especially seeing Prowl's performance, it made it's making me like Mindy more. And I did go back and listen to their song. I listened to their song Blow My Mind a lot, but mm-hmm. it's just I feel like it's not good enough. Like they need better choreo, they need better music. So if they none of them make this lineup, me. yeah, I feel like if none of them make this lineup, their company needs to give them better things to Stuff. work with. Yeah. And they clearly have some traction now because mm-hmm. yeah. Sure. Okay. So I wanted to give a shout out to Duna, yeah. to Ruan. To Ming Ming, I want to give a shout out to uh we have Ran at we have Wan Young at home. There's a girl that looks just like Wan Young. I don't like her name escapes me, but shout out to her. Cause she really gave Ran. I mean, not why I keep saying Ran, but she gave she gave me Wan Young. I showed uh Anisa the pictures and I was like, that Let's is see. Wan Young. I think it's Duna that you sent me. Yeah, that's really? Duna. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, Korean girl, Korean girl. But how they styled her and everything. Oh, yeah. I was it's like, really good styling. It's very Wan Young. I'm like, yeah. and then it just came me love dive. I'm like, all right, girl. Cool. But shout out to them. I feel mm-hmm. like there's more. Um, shout out to Pei Lu for, for just acting. Yeah, her acting was spectacular. We'll get into her. We'll get yeah. into her later. Because I was like, you know, hyping her and she ain't. But anyway, which day should we do first? Oh, first off, oh. Uh, Minnie was the guest judge from G Idol when she mm-hmm. performed and it took up too much time from the from the show. And I couldn't really? live without it. I and, yep, liked I, it. It was cute. I honestly, I didn't come here for you, girl. I came here for the for the girls. That's true. I think her performance is only like a minute long or so. So that's why I felt like, okay, it, it's short enough like i don't want it to be too long you know a minute too long and songs i didn't like yeah it was like queen card or something which is that's okay. like don't there's only one lady i will let sing queen card to me and that is a granny on tiktok i like g idols older songs more than their newer music except for tomboy i really like but a few of their new songs i don't really care for look there's only one song I mess with, and that's La Tata. Everything else kind of yeah, was a downward spiral song. from there. But that was a safe debut, so I get it. Yeah, yeah. In the words of Kiki Palmer, where is So Yoon? <laughs> I don't know why you pronounce the girl's name like that. All right. This is so random and off topic, but I'm mm-hmm. so glad that on the show they said G Idol as G Idol because sometimes yes. I know I talk to they people and they're idol. like Idol, and I'm just like, Bruh. Okay, I'm sure that's how you actually say their name because it is, and like I think even in Korean it's just idol. But be for real, we speak English. When we see that name, we say G idol. <laughs> if you're gonna put a G and then a hyphen, it's over. 
it's over. It, it's it's like it, as if you know R Jing from Chuang. Mm -hmm. It's like you would pronounce her name a ring a, a Jing a Jing. Mm -hmm. You know, just like that hyphen means something. We stop, mm -hmm. and then we bring that other part in. Mm -hmm. mm, nonsense. Like that time that person I met at KCON, they're like, "Yeah, eyes, eyes. What does it say? It's one." I said, "Oh my god, it's one? shut up! Oh. It's stop, just stop, just stop. We're going to actually meet them, and you're saying it's one." Oh, Hurt they should me. at least Google how to say their name, but it's okay. Oh, I oh no, I, I kept, announced. I kept softly correcting them, oh. and they just didn't catch it. Yeah, I was like, "No, yeah, eyes, eyes one." Oh, yeah, you're well, replying saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm excited to see eyes one too." You know, mm -hmm. yeah. and they didn't get it. Yeah. I was like, hmm, okay. Sometimes it's like that, though. Like, even if people correct me, I'm just like, you know what? This is how I say it. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I guess at I this point. <laughs> at this yeah. point. At this point. What was I going to say? Man, uh, can't believe I actually got to meet them before, pre before COVID. That was a time. Man, man, man. So we want to start with what is love? Yeah. Well, who was the guest judge for this stage? Um, It was Mike. Okay, he blended right in. Did he? I didn't. I, I didn't until the end. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let me refresh. All it's right. because some of the uh, guest judges were there for the whole stage, and others were only there for a part of it. Oh, that's why I don't remember because I'm like the, exactly. he was like Melody from the Pussycat Dolls, where this whole stage it was just the five of them, and she was like, oh, 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 I'm gonna sing over Nicole. Okay, let me stop. All right, let's watch. Okay, that's why I didn't remember him. He didn't sing. Mm -hmm. So the very first stage, the opening stage, was twice What is Love, and the guest performer was Mike, and the center and MVP was Chow Yu Yu. The other members, Didi, Emma, Rinka, Lisa, and Jasmine. And yeah, I'm surprised this, uh, I kind of suspected it because usually when they have um, the new songs for the mm -hmm. girls on this show, we get to vote which concept we want people in, but they didn't do mm -hmm. it. For this one so i'm like okay they're probably gonna do another cover stage so right yeah but this is a good Sh song i like shout out to rinka she brought it back yeah she was cute for me i, I love feel her like... vocals yeah she didn't take it too high it's pre-recorded yeah <laughs> It's funny because on another stage, I think someone was stressing about like the live singing and I'm like, mm. in multiple mm. stages, the members who are singing aren't moving their lips. So I'm like, oh, I was about to say that because I'm like one girl, I don't remember which stage it was, but she stopped talking or singing and her mm -hmm. vocals were still continuing. And exactly. Like, Ventriloquist tea. Got exactly. it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I like Lisa this stage. She was like the biggest standout for me. First of all, she opened the song. And her yeah. voice was like, I don't know how to describe it, but her voice is like whiny, but mm. like not annoying. Yeah. For so a twice song, it really fit. Exactly. So I'm yeah. like, oh, this is really nice. And then her styling, like she was gorgeous, mm -hmm. like especially the eye makeup and then like mm -hmm. the long black hair and then like all the pink. Like, <laughs> this chick, chick, really chick good. everything yeah. off the exactly. list. Exactly. But exactly. she's been consistent. Yeah, I, I don't the, know why I'm just noticing her after the previous stage. You know what I mean? Like, has she always been this we, good? Yeah, we just weren't watching. Yeah. But it's her and another girl falls under the category of Japanese shouting. Where we Ooh. great girl not going to make it. Who? Arjing. Oh, great girls not going to make it. But she's kind of pulling Arjing is kind of pulling a Wanja, though. Like she's taking that planet pass to the finale, I think. Yeah, but did Wanjo get in there? No, but it's okay. Like the further you <laughs> get, the more publicity you get. I'm mean, they're gonna make it to the finale. Yeah. Then it's not gonna make it to the group. Yeah. At least it's not seven of them. Then you know that's even oh, worse. Oh yeah, that, that mess. Was, but that yeah, terrible. I'm glad worse. that Chow Yu Yu is trying a new concept. I think she must have watched these shows with like similar to Ran, who has the experience. I think Chow Yu probably watches these survival shows, and she knows like if you have an expertise. And you gain fans from that, just showcase that until one of the last stages and try your best to show a new side before, so that people don't get bored of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. She Reverse was like Hikaru. really smart. Yeah. Hikaru was consistently very throughout the whole show. To be fair, 
in Girls Planet, we voted for where they should go for this stage. But in this stage, the girls, well, I shouldn't say they got to choose what song, but Chai Yu got first pick. So, right. yeah. I, yeah. I want to make it very clear. I did not vote Hikaru <laughs> in Snake. I voted for her in Utopia. Y'all needed to get on my level. Anyway, yeah. I want to see that girl struggle. Um, yeah. Hey, girl, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> but no, overall, this stage was really cute. Um, I'm glad the mentor didn't sing, though, because there's another stage where the mentor was doing too much. And I'm like, this is not about you. This is about the contestants. Yeah, when I first started watching this episode and the first stage is what is love and that guy just got on stage at the last 30 seconds of the song mm -hmm. and then walked out i was like oh this is not like chuang 2020 i like <laughs> this it's just a little bit and it's mostly the girls and then the other stages are totally different so i'm like okay, it got progressively okay. worse yes. as they continue <laughs> yes. on and i'm yeah. like man and then one the I'll, we'll get there but the, there's one stage i'm like you're acting like this is about you and it's really not about you. Why do I feel like I know exactly which one? But because you, I, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, overall, what is love? I think the girls fit. I think when Twice performed this song the first time, it was like super cute. Mm -hmm. But I think like because of the styling and I guess the yeah. members, they it had more of a teen crush vibe. Instead oh, of for a sure. Vibe. So I, I think mean, they changed the nice. in. They, they change like the instrumental for the exactly. song a little bit and exactly. then the choreography is a little different too uh, mm -hmm. they made it if they were <laughs> if they were actually live singing this they would have been able to pull this off because yeah. like twice has all those kicking and can cans and this one was more you know we're going to do this hand choreography and this hand yeah. shape and then you know we'll kind of have a moment to like pose so we can actually sing the song yeah you know k-pop's getting progressively more dance oriented and they're and like we're forgetting that they're real humans that have lungs that have to like breathe mm -hmm. air to sing the song mm -hmm. so i'm glad that they you know i think they're finding a happy mid middle ground with choreography because i feel like last week some groups were eh, and some groups were wow and i feel like this one wasn't a like man group i thought this was pretty good consistently yeah. yep yep exactly the next stage is jeff's song dum dum and Jeff is also the guest ment or guest performer. And Wonka, who's the center, Eileen got MVP. And the other members are Shuaning, Yuanka, Wang Shengqi, and Ming Ming. Ming Ming was loving the dance so much when it was her part, she didn't move her mouth at all. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that? <laughs> I didn't notice on Ming Ming, but other stages I noticed on some other girls. She, I didn't know she, she also did that. It was her part. I know her voice. Mm -hmm. And she just closed in on him, did her little acting, and then went yeah. back to dance. I'm like, and you're smiling, doing the dance. You're loving this performance. I love that. Mm -hmm. But I need the performance part. Like, don't forget. I, You know what? I don't, I'm not nicking her on it because also they have to learn this like whole thing quick record the vocals record this it's so fast yeah and i'm probably sure like this is the big like the biggest thing it, if you're not lip syncing the song throughout the whole time you're practicing it you won't do it during the performance exactly you perform how you practice mm -hmm. it's just how it is <laughs> but, wow. um i feel his his mic was on <laughs> yeah his mic was on, and you know, he's like, this is my song. I'm not going to let y'all play me out like that. He had but the handheld mic, though, right? That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. I'm like, handheld, it's, it's on. Yeah, usually it's on if it's handheld. <laughs> but I, to, out of all the ones, I didn't mind him his addition because he didn't take away from the girls. He felt incorporated into it. It wasn't like Chuang where it's like, oh, it's the guest judge, the mm -hmm. guest star, which always annoyed me. I'm like, I'm not here for them. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't watched them for weeks. I'm here for these for these young, young ladies. But I liked what he added, and I liked mm -hmm. how the choreography, it just felt all cohesive. Again, I yeah, shout did. out to the girl, shout out to the guest performer, shout out to the choreographer, shout out to the whole team, because they're making these stages better. I think yeah. they're finding their footing now. Yeah you know, third stage yeah. in, but you know, whatever. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, I like the styling of this stage because yeah. I felt like looking at specifically Yuan Ke and mm -hmm. Xuanning, 
they mm-hmm. look like vampires like straight up and i was like wow every time i got to look at, at them like the red hair on her and then like the long black hair mm-hmm. and then like the red lips i'm like you guys are vamp and then her pale skin too like they look like vampires and i don't know if that's what the stylist intended it looked but, very vampire but it yeah. also reminded me a little bit of sweet juice by purple kiss a little bit the styling kind of yeah it's kind of similar not the song just the vibe of the the like the look and the styling definitely they're both like dark yeah vampy yeah, vampy exactly. very vampy yeah vampy, exactly vampy, baba boom yeah i i uh, like oh. the choreo i like chair choreo because it's always like really sexy oh i'm yeah. glad they didn't like overdo Overplay the sexiness it. exactly though. yeah also because like there's minors in that group so mm-hmm. like it was okay it was okay you know who liked that chair choreography a bit too much miss mm-hmm. ming ming she was over here doing a she was loving that i was like yep. you know i love when i see my performers love what they're doing mm-hmm. they need to make these girls sing live so that way they don't forget yeah. to lip sync yeah. or do move their mouth but i was going to say one thing wonka was taking it hard that she didn't get mvp and i was like i i feel like don't forget, this is just a select people in the crowd. Like, the yep. what really matters the most is getting the votes. Yeah. You need to nanny this thing and be like, as long as... She, she said this stage two. She's like, no matter where I stand on stage, I'll always catch the eye of the, of the people or whatever. I'll always yep. be the... Whatever she said, and, and Faith mm-hmm. was translating in, in her ear. But anyway, <laughs> yep. yeah, I think she didn't need to, like... You know, let what Eileen, Eileen, that, that was the main, the one I yeah. got, she got yeah, the MVP. Eileen. But I was like, okay, like that's, I think, I think, oh, sorry, go ahead. She might have thought that it, she had a chance to get MVP because Chow Yu got it, but you have to be realistic with the audience that right. they, they have. Have, yeah. So, and Eileen or Eileen, she, she, I don't think she's gotten it yet, right? This is, I, might be her, her. I think first. she got it before. No, I can't remember if she got MVP before. I think, I mean, I felt like this might have been her first. Y'all can correct me in the comments. But Wonka, you're, you do, you're you doing great. Like, yeah, you know, it's all right. But again, I it's so pressure cooker. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling as much pressure from watching this. I know Girls Planet, again, I can't stop talking about it. But that one was super dense in the pressure. Yeah. But I feel like this show is, it gives the, in the energy if it's a little, little bit chiller or cooler like lighthearted. i do way. feel it did feel lighthearted to me until this episode actually it definitely feels a little bit more intense like i know they had the behind the scenes with all the mentors mm-hmm. and or the guest yeah. performers and they're having fun and blah 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 but like later on we'll talk about it later but especially like um like Kate and Ruan's performances, I'm like, yeah. oh, like these, like oh, that I mean, was it's a getting whole close another... to debut night, so they're yeah. like the pressure is on now, mm-hmm. especially for the Thai girls because they're like, yeah. this is actually going. I mean, you know, other, I mean, especially for the foreign girls too, but I feel the Thai girls are like, we don't get these type of opportunities here, so this yeah, is like this is really a something. good chance to make a name for yourself, like, mm-hmm. yeah, right, and they can end up becoming actresses and other stuff, so it's really something yep. important yeah um but yeah the mm, stage mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it, was just, it was just nice i like yeah. something about wonka like when she performs she just knows how to use her eyes too i mean if i was training for eight years i know how to make use my eyes yeah yeah so she's, she's just a professional i think I yeah i mean she's, she's honestly really an good. idol she just hasn't debuted it yet yeah exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but any other mm-hmm. comments on that stage Nope. Let's move on before I start singing the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about Hearts Around the World with the red hair? That was her new she, concept. You know, she did so good, I didn't know she was there. Wow. That was a new person. Yeah, because I if you're gonna be crunch, be crunch. No, nah, she's like, I'll show you a new side of me. Cool. Now nah, I forgot about <laughs> you. You have to be a little off. You know yes. what? They also didn't give her a lot of zoom ins. They gave her a few here and there i think it's just that because of the guests it's right. kind of like every girl loses except yep. unless you're yeah. center like every girl right. loses a little bit of screen time because if they zoomed in on her and she's looking into space i don't know who she was I'd be like oh there there no there's she was girl. focused she's like this is my part you I'm see i'm gonna well, be ready this time and she probably <laughs> lip-synced and everything she was yeah. on top of her you see now you're great and now i don't know you <laughs> wow <laughs> 
I miss pieces yeah. of love. <laughs> do, 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 do. Pieces of love. I hope Jessica's eating well. I miss her, her vocals. Man, that wasn't even a bad stage. It wasn't like, I'm going to do another blah. Or it wasn't like, <laughs> yeah. nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Jimmy, nah, 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 yeah. It wasn't like that. It just was, it just was interesting. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. It wasn't, it, Miles from, from uh, New Jeans, Japan. Who? Sexy Dance, when she said, oh, yeah. she said, I'm dropping a few of these syllables and these words, and I'm just going to just sing my version. Yeah. Where is she? I hope she redebuts. Where, she Who needs, knows? why isn't she in Island too? Dang it. There's a produced girl in that show. Where is she? Because she's not good. But yeah, the next thing <laughs> is push number five. That's funny. Push number <laughs> five. Okay. She's not good. Don't slay her. <laughs> Let her live. She was good to me. She said her talent is sexy dance and she couldn't do that. So you can't sing, you can't dance. Goodbye. What makes it even better is this, the music they gave her was terrible. <laughs> it was like, yeah. ooh, it was like weird. She's moving her body. I'm like, if you're a dancer, oh, is... you got to make it work. That was performance art. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I was like, well, this is great. Uh, it's I still remember it. It's great. All right, let's yeah, watch Push Number Five. Stage, yeah. So the next stage, um, is a song from Chuang Twenty Twenty One. Push Number Five with Wang, the guest performer Wang Zichi, and the center is Pai Lu. Other members are Krista, Tegan, Mamsu, and Ninin, Nin, and Arjing, who got MVP. There was a lot going on here, but I appreciated everything. Yeah. There's the same group of girls that keep singing over each other. It is, yeah. With Krista, Mamsu, and Chris and uh Arjun. And what's great about it is that they've gotten control of that, but it's parts where like we know the music's carrying on and I still hear over like, oh, and I'm like, <laughs> what in the Diana Ross is happening? It's so yeah. great. And then Pailu did not really sing much in this song, which mm -hmm. is cool. But what's funny is like they cut to her and she's lip syncing the heck out of this song. She is over there giving emotions. I'm like, girl. Yeah. Another thing that's off topic but on topic, she looks like she's going to be a great actress because she already has that face. This is so specific. Those like boys love movies that Thailand does all the time. She looks like she'd be the mom in that. Oh, wow. Like, she looks like she would be like, Martin, what is happening with you? Like, I feel like she's giving me the mom from Love Us I Am, like, down, like, in the face. Uh, anyway, that's that's off off topic. <laughs> also, Mong Su didn't do much and did a lot all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like you're carrying out that note a little longer than it really needs to be but I that's okay and then when it's her part I'm like you give me Rose from Sister Makes Waves mm -hmm. like so much this is my favorite stage from this episode um, for multiple reasons and also it's crazy because like the guest singer these girls out sing him and I feel like he understood that he's an actor I don't Great. know if he's a singer, but on the show they were saying that he's an actor. So that's mm. why I'm like interesting that they have him singing. Maybe his parts are just lip syncing. I don't know. He did good enough, or or maybe yeah. the ghost singer or whatever. But mm -hmm. like he knew very well in the in the like practice that oh these girls can sing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think he took a step back. Yeah. I wish that there was another guest performer that understood that, but yeah. we'll get to him. <laughs> He, I'm like waiting to read him down. Yeah. <laughs> You're, uh, this is beautiful. What do you yeah. have to say? I loved it. Um, I feel like we shared a lot of the same thoughts. I mean, like, Pailu, I liked her acting. Oh, she delivered it. her lines just fine. She, I know she was stressed about it, but I think that this was actually a really good stage for her, even though she, it wasn't her choice to do this stage, but it was a it good It was stage. the best gift. Exactly. She didn't have to sing much. And she was like, you know, I'm with all the singers and yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. And there's all this harmonizing. Also, yeah. I'm glad I said that. Who the heck was trying to pay their rent singing the highest part of the harmony in the beginning? Because I'm like, man, 
you really want this job like it i get might it. have been origin because i think, I think was it was the higher notes in the song I'm, like that beginning was great but i'm like man you aren't gonna have a voice tomorrow and shout yeah. out to that because she was like oh i'm like whoa girl yeah. <laughs> like, and that was that stage was live that was live yeah yeah, I mean, it's was, a vocal, it's mostly a vocal yeah. stage, so they have to. It I love be. how it's always the same girls. Yep, yep. <laughs> it really All, is. Also, this reminded me very much of Jessica's stage from Sister Who Makes Waves, where they're on the uh, the elliptical, not elliptical, the uh, oh, yeah, the, the little treadmill. treadmill thing. It reminded yeah. me, and especially how much Arjun was overacting. She's like, I, yeah. I, I'm like, this is this is sisters this is this sisters is, that's who makes nice, wave. Though. oh that made me love it even more yeah yeah and bring back the 30 something year old woman that was overacting in that one she <laughs> needed to <laughs> run her back again mm -hmm. this reminded me so much of sisters in yeah, the best way in the was, best yeah. way because sisters that show knew how to sing a ballad mm -hmm. and then they had the mom my my rose dupe man yep <laughs> they made the stage for you yeah. Um, everyone was good i have no i have, no one really dropped the ball even krista who i'm like iffy on was decent i will say shout out to tegan because she yes kind of it was in this she's in the same situation that a lot of in, in my opinion altos tend to be which is that you're never the main singer you're just singing on the lower end oh yeah like, she, to back up the main singer so but she if they did really, not have her Oh, like, it, I feel like her voice added to the song, but mm -hmm. unless you are a singer, you wouldn't understand mm -hmm. the the levels that she added because of her voice fullness and deepness, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, but she, like, in the beginning, the original Destiny Child, Latavia held the, the that bass, that mm -hmm. low note. Mm -hmm. It And when you don't have someone that can hold that low, it does, the harmony doesn't sound full. Exactly. So, yeah. she, like, she definitely did things. She looked beautiful, by the way. I just still feel bad for her because it's the belters who will get the recognition. But I'm just like, she... I did feel like lot. Tegan might even be the reason why the Krista, Arjing, and Mamsu Made trio, sense. <laughs> like, wasn't too, too much, much, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. It, it didn't help that they didn't, like, give her a lot of screen time either. Yeah. Um, but, like, if you're watching the video, like, it tells you when she's singing. And I'm just like, oh, I can hear her. But notes, it's wide you know shots. I mean? Yeah. Like, no, yeah. Mostly wide shots. And then, you know, the belters will get most of the time. And then Pailu's acting. And yeah. And, and Arjun's acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also, why waste all that beautiful makeup to not close shot that? I mean, they wing the hell out of, sorry, they wing the heck out of her eye. I was like, that's a beautifully, yeah. her makeup was really good tonight. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm, such a waste to like do glam and then not showcase that. Yeah. They all look good. Yeah. Oh, man. Hmm. Especially Mom Sue, she looked really good. There was oh, one point yeah. where she was like hitting a note on the side and you could see like a side profile and mm -hmm. she dropped her mic and she looked up and she was like, yeah, I just ate that. Like she <laughs> gave that face. I was like, you look you I, look beautiful. I love how they contour her face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love how they contour her face. Yeah. They have good glam. Mm -hmm. um, this is my favorite stage, so wow. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's mm -hmm. like... Just praises. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love how they keep having all the same girls singing over each other. I love Espa Chuang. The next stage is Night Ride by Win Meta Win. The guest, uh, yeah. So the guest performer is Win Meta Win. And the center is Aileen. The MVP, Yin. And the other members, Liliana Lee, Duna, Zhao Ying, and A Care. And yeah. For me, I feel like going into the stage, I was just curious to know what is Duna going to do? Because mm. I know that like a lot of the stages when they have the guest mentors, there's a lot of like physical touch and just a lot going on. So I was like, you're a K-pop idol. I don't think she's going to do a lot. And then I was right. She barely like touched his jacket and then she kind of just walked across him. You know, she wasn't like touching his chin and like doing anything too much like the other girls. And I'm like, that makes sense. She probably was like, I just can't do what you guys what can, do. can do. Yeah, yeah. And get away with it for sure. I feel like someone had a conversation with Liliana backstage. In what way? Still like, look here. You're on this show. You're going to change your attitude, Missy. Damn. <laughs> really? <laughs> she was all smiles and brightness. Yeah. And I'm like, what happened to the gloom? And I mean, what happened <laughs> to the attitude? I'm expecting you to be 
miss you know and i gotten used to it and now i mean she has to give a show she can't like she can't cry about the song choice all no day. we're not talking about that she's just always attitude just full of it and just mm, and that, that edge and i don't know normally i wouldn't like that but i've grown accustomed to it and then they froofed her hair up and then yeah. gave her this and i'm like what in the world she's like hi i'm liliana i'm like whoa 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 wait wait where are we where are we this is not what i signed up for i got used to it she's playing a character you know what and she played it well she sung the heck out of that song obviously i mean she always does they were still lip syncing but her voice is still good shout out to duna as i said she killed it one young at home one young at home she's so pretty yes I, I i she's making it to this final lineup i feel my I thing is that is. this is okay this is what i think because remember there was like two weeks when on chuang's page they're like mm-hmm. oh duna couldn't make it to the pot to the uh practice you think she flew back to korea reasons. yes i think she flew back to korea i think she filmed a music video dance practice blah 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 with csr and mm-hmm. then they sent her back here and they're like, okay, if you make that group, we're going to have to come back without you, but at least we, but have we the want to feature you. you. In it. Yes. Yes. And then just in case she doesn't make it, she can fly back home and they can immediately just start rolling just out the go, comeback. Hit the ground running. You know? Exactly. Exactly. They're like, they're like I, d- I just had a feeling like one of y'all are going to make it. I don't know which one, but there's just no way. Because they, yeah, sure, okay, deficiencies, but they're just trained. They know mm-hmm. what they're doing. One of you guys is going to make it. And that extra little K-pop is going to mm-hmm. be the clout that this group kind of needs. Yeah, exactly. I'm mm-hmm. like low-key hoping that she makes it only because all the fans are like, they don't want to be on the show. So stop voting for them. And I'm just like, listen. No, it's not about you. It's what we want. Yeah. She's already <laughs> on the show. So you can't tell people to not vote for her because as long Let as she's in out. here. <laughs> we we will lelouch her if we need to. Yeah. He's like, can y'all let me go? No, yeah, it's not no. about what you want. <laughs> we'll put you behind the top 11 if you keep this up. Was Lelouch and Chuang 2021, right? Yes. <laughs> he was Sick. like the Russian Chinese one that, you know. The one who was like, I just work here. And they're like, oh, but you're attractive. So you should compete because we need some more boys. They sure did. And they're like, he's like, can you guys like eliminate me? No, we're going to make no. you top three or whatever. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. We're if he didn't make say you... that he was gonna debut he, was he gonna surely debut. was and they were like oh my gosh she's so stiff can y'all not add him to our group and he's like walking over there and like oh my gosh please stop <laughs> shout out to our friend um malia who got us to watch a few episodes because that was fun yeah, but was. um no this group was cute i think the standout for me was liliana because it was so it was such a departure from her dark and edgy billy eilish original kind of vibe who True. It was just so different. But she was all, you know, smiles and giggles. Shout out to the stylist for making them look like Love Dive. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to Duna. And shout out to Yin because yeah. she wants this. She wants oh, yeah. this so bad. She it's does, so yeah. obvious. She wants this. She's like always consistent mm-hmm. and she's always smiley. And I feel like she is fighting hard to not get like lost in the background because mm-hmm. there's just so many other girls. But shout out to her. I see her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... I don't want to say that the stage was bad because it wasn't bad, but no, I will say that in my opinion, else. it was just the weakest stage. Yeah, yeah, but it's, I don't think it's their fault. It's just I don't think the song choice was that good. I think it's because of oh sorry, sorry. I think it's because of the actor number one because they matched it to him. I think. Mm-hmm. And like, I think this is his song actually. Oh, you know, it reminded me of like a Disney movie. Mm-hmm like a thing where they had a scene it felt very it felt like i was watching a tv show or something i see yeah yeah where it wasn't like as dance forward or idol forward it felt more so like this is on the original soundtrack of the girls in the cafe type thing Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. how i what i've got from it but for like accepting it for what it is i appreciate Mm -hmm. what it was yeah it wasn't bad. I mean, it it fit the members too. I think, mm-hmm. especially considering that Duna can't choose her stage. Mm-hmm. I think she probably would have been okay with this or What Is Love because I think the other stages are. Like oh, she would have loved What Is Love. Much, she, you know, she would have yeah. loved it. She'd be like, "Great, he comes out at the end. I don't touch him. Perfect." 
it probably would have been more convenient for her too. Like she could have stayed in Korea a few more days because she's like, I already know she, the song. Yeah. All I gotta do is learn the new choreo. <laughs> like she cannot do the practice stage because she is in Korea creating content. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not gonna like, say that. But... No, like we got this song doing it. It's hot. Come over real, real quick. You get some royalties. Go back. You do your Thailand thing. It's gonna work out fine. You know what? She's a Chaeyoung, the Iowa Chaeyoung. She is the Iowa Chaeyoung of Chuang Asia, where they where her company made. Like Daya, you know that group, the the Tanashi Unni, like yeah. copycats. Um, so they made that girl the center of that group, like workhorse. They're like, you're gonna be in this movie and this TV show and this web drama and this, and then you're gonna do IOI and go back and do Daya, and you're gonna come back wow. and you're gonna do this, and then what they want another comeback? All right, then go there and then do this. Okay, you're doing more. Okay, go back and then go go host this show and then host that award show. And then when IOI was like finished, you're like, oh. Chang, you worked a lot. <laughs> wow. I'm sure her bank account was heavy, but at what cost? Yeah. And I yeah. feel like that's going to be Duna. <laughs> when you're that young, it's easier it's... to do all of that. Yeah, but you still feel it. Yeah, it's still, it's still a lot. Oh, poor her. I didn't know that it was... I mean, I kind of knew because in IOI... Well, that's off topic, but in IOI, I know they're like, oh, like it wasn't a exclusive contract. Sure so wasn't. They, them they were... pulled them girls. They said, you yep. and you, we're making a new girl group. You and you. Uh -huh. Okay, Chae Young, you're the only one that got in. We got all these TV shows lined up for you. Yep. Yep. And, and, and makeup deals and this and that. Or I mean, I'm I'm just remember. I don't know if she had makeup deals, but she she was acting a lot. She was If there was a web drama, mm -hmm. it was in here is Chae Young. <laughs> and here it's Bora. I wish that happened for Bora. <laughs> anyway, no, I love this stage. It was cute. Yeah. I don't really have any, like, I only have one read, but it's not for the girls. It was for this man? Mm, no, 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 not him. Oh. So who? The Ran one. Oh, okay. I thought you meant for this, for uh, no, Night no, no. Ride. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, the stage, like, I mean, it was okay. So on to the next stage, Nightwalk. It was cute. Let's watch. Yeah, so the next song is Nightwalker, which is ten song. This is his solo comeback song, actually. Or debut. Yeah. I don't think his debut was a comeback. And he was also the guest performer. And we have the center, who is Ran. The other members, Shui Yao, Kate, Pro is the MVP, and Lu Yuting. And... Yeah, shout out to Kate, who had a knee, the knee Injury. issues. Yeah, yeah, and I'm praying that she's going to be okay because, right. I mean, her body's young, so hopefully she'll be fine. And also Ran, who, I don't know what was going on, but I think that she was probably having a panic attack, and they're saying that she wasn't eating, and they, like, pulled her out into everything. Like, oh, my gosh. Sheesh. A lot of extra pressure unnecessary, huh? Yeah, it is. I can tell like she i mean like we were saying before it's getting to the finale and yes she should feel safe because she's in the top three but it's like you never she, know she saw yorina not get in so I'm sure she exactly, knows exactly exactly so I'm she's sure lived she's this like, already and lived this not that long ago yeah you can't you can't rest you have to perform your best you have to do right. your best you know and we also don't know what's going on behind the scenes and yeah. she knows best what's going on behind the scenes she's a behind <laughs> the scenes queen i mean jokingly but also in reality like yeah, actually, she probably yeah. knows a lot more about the production of these things that we could even imagine and she's like i didn't go to thailand for nothing like you know kiss is cute but they're not going to give me a big like opportunity like this so mm -hmm. oh my gosh but also i think 10 was making it about him and it's not about you yeah he was real i could just the way that he was behind the scenes you can just kind of tell that he's an SM artist. Right. You know, it was it a certain way. Yeah. And he was just like really harsh. And then like they were saying he was changing the choreo like a bit. Last yeah. Minute, which makes it it makes it hard for them. Like, right. He's like, we're going to change. Choreo. I'm like, chill the heck out. Yeah. That's why. the I'm not just, just not everybody needs to be on. You know, this is survival show, you know, and it's not about you. And you've already debuted and you're you're secure. Like. Your SM, yeah. you're, you're, you're secure. Like I just think that he was just coming in with almost like the opposite mindset of Mike. Like Mike was like, it's not yeah. about me. It's about you guys. I'm just here, you know. I As think an Ten, additive. 
yeah, I think 10 was very much like, okay, this is like a stage performance. This is a show that I'm going to put on. We're going to do this and this. And it's like, because it was his comeback fine. song or whatever. Yeah, like, that's his song and his artistry and his image. But he has to think and kind of respect the girls a little bit. Like, this is a competition, you know? He's trying to make him, a. Mm -hmm. He can change the choreo because he already, like, the original choreo, that's like in his muscles. In so, ingrained. Yeah, so making a change is not a big deal, but for them, they have to learn the original choreo, and then now you're changing it. Yeah, unlearn it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it's it's too. He, I, I did enjoy the stage, but I do want to say that I think he was a little bit too, too much. He was just too. What's the word for it? Like he was. He wasn't like con, he was too inconsiderate, in my opinion. He was thinking about himself, is what it was. He was yeah. thinking about himself and showcasing himself as an artist, but. Reality is, people aren't tuning in for you. Who are tuning in for them? I mean, people are tuning in for him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But no one, no one's been able to vote for him. him. Yeah, yeah. The competition no one, is not about you. Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not tuning in for him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that aren't tuning for him for you. Tuning in for him either. Yeah. I, to be honest, I'm tuning tuning in more for Nene than him. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I would have so loved sad it. Sad that Nene didn't get a stage here. I would have loved it if she did. You yeah. know what? Amber like there was stage. no female guest performers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know Winnie or not Winnie, Minnie perform, but she, I mean, that was a, her girls, thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was so sad. If Amber got to perform, Nene could have performed. Yeah, maybe she didn't mm -hmm. want to. And also, if Nene performed, they probably would have put her like on, on the vocal, the, vocal point, the showcase. No, on the vocal stage that. Oh, oh, with oh, Pailu yeah, no. And, if Nene's gonna do vocals, then she should like do vocals, but then she's gonna outshine them. It's it's too right. much. So I think it's it's kind of <laughs> on that stage. That. Will she really outshine them, or will they all <laughs> over sing each other? Because let's be True. real. Yeah, it would be. Arjing's like, oh well, I can do that too, and then Mom was like, well, I can do that too, and then here comes Tegan, like, well, I got the low voice, so I'm gonna do the my little harmony with you, you know, yeah. like pull out my ukulele and let me really show you a thing or two, and then you know. But then on, on the other hand, if Nene didn't do a vocal stage, it would be right. kind of disappointing because she's a vocalist, so yeah, she's not a dancer. Yeah, so it's okay. She, <laughs> I love how when she like. A episodes ago this one girl she's like i'm just done doing this dance i'm just going to lip sync like i'm singing and she's like i like how she dad performs like she's singer and just make everyone backup dancer because she's singer mm. and i was like uh, she's so relatable she's my favorite judge of this show <laughs> yeah I, keep, I stand by that she's her input's really good yeah but anyway if we yeah. took 10 out and just change the whole the whole performance to There's something else. There's a few things that would change too, because like first yeah. of all, Ruan's tone, like her her singing was so I liked her how her voice sounded. Oh yeah, I, I like also it. Also, be kind of easily impressed because Japanese girls tend to sing a certain type of way that yeah. sounds like too annoying, and yeah. Ruan didn't sound like that. So immediately I was like, wow. She has the Sakura blessing where she doesn't sing through her nose. Exactly. Yeah, I that wish that. Ran opened the song. Oh yeah, because Her, Lu Yu Ting's mm -hmm. voice was too weak for a song like this. I think yeah. if Ran with that voice open and then yeah. Prowl sang after her, like, right, that would have been nice. But that's because they both have a nice lower re register. Yeah, yeah. And Ran has been consistently, and I'm not. It's not, not just that it was bias. a nice lower register too. It's just it's that it was strong. It was a strong. Right. Yeah. Well, that added too, but like that for yeah. that song and the yeah. and the tone and and the vibe. I was pleasantly surprised. She's been very consistent, very consistent. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, yeah, we joke because she used to be crunchy, but she's not crunchy anymore. Mm -hmm. Like she's surpassed that. What then? The two point five years she's been training under Kiss, she's actually hasn't wasted any time. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's amazing to see her progression. And what's the other girl? I don't know how to pronounce her name right. The one that got MVP. Pro. Wow, okay, she oh, reminds me of Deep like Voice from Imagine It and Produce 101 Japan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see she, that. she reminds me of Deep Voice. I think Prowl's voice is a little bit more pleasant to listen to. Well, Deep Voice is really a rapper that may have to learn how to sing, but, you know, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, And she kind of looks like her, too, a little bit. No, I think it's, it's just the hair color. It's I was about to say it's the hair. It's yeah. the hair. But I'm like, oh, blonde hair, deep voice, deep yeah, voice. It's great. just the blonde and the black combination they have going I was like, on. Oh, like, great. You look like her shouting dupe. <laughs> 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 like you got the hair color good enough. Yeah. Prowl's yeah, dancing, like her body control is insane. Like when she dances, 
especially the lower body movements like every single joint is moving vertebrae. and every <laughs> yes like every vertebrae every every muscle is like moving to some instrument in the song and i'm just right. like every tick, tick i don't tick. know how people understand how crazy that is like every time i watch her perform i'm like this is actually insane like she i don't know how old she is she might still be a minor or pretty young like she can her go, musicality like, is on point and yeah uh, so like she probably has been doing this since she was three like the thing that gets me every time and i say i said this last episode too is that she can do all of that and still not be doing too much. Mm -hmm. You know, that to me is amazing. I don't yeah. know. Every time I think about these Mindy girls, I'm just like, y'all just give Mindy some good songs because you earned a fan. Like, I'm glad they are on this show. Is giving name from uh, from Yehua. That, great that's group a of girls. Group. That's a nonsense group. That's a great group of girls not getting the right content to work with it. Mm hmm. But I mean, Mindy's a little bit better off, but you know, same difference. Yeah. Same situation. Yeah. My gosh, she was good. Mm -hmm. I'm Night always impressed Walker. by her. Shui Yao looked like a vampire. Not a vampire. A I think because of the moon, she was giving more werewolf. Like, right. I well, that's she the, had... that's yeah. the stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that, they done their that job. Was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good job of the styling and everything. And yeah. I think. This is the more fierce stage that Ruan wanted, not yeah. like the hard stage. <laughs> <laughs> they like pulled a fast one on her with the hard stage. She's like, yeah, I'm going to do this because I know this song is tough. And they put her in cat ears and this girly Eddie outfit. Christmas, man. Yeah, yeah no, no. That's I hope why... <laughs> she runs that back for Christmas for real. Oh, no. Put that outfit on. No. Shout out to the ice cream commercial. Because, man, yeah, makes you want to run out and get me a fudge sickle because yes. good God. And then the chocolate, and I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but chocolate, hmm, like shelled ice cream with a nice filling inside. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Man, I don't know if you guys have had those Dove, like, yeah, Dove is the soap brand, but they also have that ice cream. Company. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I will crush those. Those are so mean. flipping good. I like Man. chocolate candy, but I don't like chocolate ice cream. So, like, chocolate shelled ice cream. Yes. I love yes. it. Yeah. Even though if I were to go to 7 Eleven right now, I would get me a popsicle, the SpongeBob ones. I, yeah. Yes, I'm a little kid. I don't care because I love it tastes those. I like amazing. The you like the Sonic ones? Mm -hmm. The ones that are all right, but they're not as good as the SpongeBob ones are the like Spider Man one. It's like raspberry yeah, yeah. flavor. It's like man. the SpongeBob ones. It's like fruit punch. I might have to go and get me some. But anyway, point being, <laughs> Night Walker. I like the ice cream commercial. Pilu was was kind of slaying that that commercial again. She's gonna be a great actress mm -hmm. after she's finished debuting and doing this. Show, you know, pro. She's gonna be in one of those, and it's like give her ten years, and she's gonna be the mom. She's gonna be like Martin. Where are you? You know, yeah. I feel like she. I mean, she's gonna be great in her young years now, but I just feel like she's gonna have a a. Her face gives me longevity. Mm -hmm. She's yep. so pretty, and she's gonna do well. And, and she's surprised me. You know, yeah. she yeah, she'll kind of be a visual member, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. So the MVP of MVPs, so she <laughs> gets a hundred thousand points, is oh, pro. Bro. Yeah, I mean, she needs it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so she secured, she secured herself in the finale. It seems like she will. And I also think because she was supposed to get eliminated, but yeah. she saved herself, that yeah. some people might have started panic voting for her. Yeah, so she... So, she is this uh, the elimination, the third elimination, where yep. we're like, whatever this lineup? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that, to see that. I don't want to see Rinka involved in it. I want Rinka to go to the finale, but not rank. Because Rinka might get eliminated because she keeps dropping. Papa San's not gonna let that happen. We'll see. This lineup in the in the this elimination episode is gonna be interesting. It, I feel Rinka deserves the finale. If here's the deal. If she doesn't get it, I said this already. I said this on Twitter. If she doesn't get eliminated but makes it to the finale, she's in. I just feel like after her vocal stage. 
she might have lost, lost faith. some yeah i think they lost interest and and then keep in mind that's the same stage where people gained new fans too like a lot of people were impressed with lisa and like right so for, we'll see we'll yeah. see but i feel like she redeemed herself today yeah and i think if she if she doesn't if she ranks enough to get in the finale mm -hmm. but she doesn't rank in the top nine she's in yeah because they're gonna be like oh shoot rinka and she keeps ranking high on the Chinese boards, even after her terrible vocal. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't really terrible. She just was a little off. So if if the Chinese fans love her, and I think her fans are the most strategic. Mm -hmm. They only pull out the credit card when they need to. I think what That's we saw in the first elimination... Was, do you was, think it was a fluke? Yeah, I think it was a fluke. And I think that's why Chuang changed the votes. Because I think back mm. then, one vote was like five points. But then they're like, oh, people are spending money. And it's making the rankings all types of messed up. So they changed it to like one vote is like 50 votes now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think they did that because of the money issue. Because of the 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 yogurts are ascending it, love. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I think Ruan heavily relied on paid voting. So I mean, not Ruan, Rinka. So I think brand votes were all org organic. I oh, feel yeah. that's my that, it's and a then mix once, of both, which is how you get in. Right. And once those regular they regulated it and she was like ranked two or whatever, I was like, all right, all right, we're back. Because I'm like, yeah. she should have been that from I was like, right, Ruan six mm, doesn't yeah, feel right no, to me. Yeah. It, it just felt unreal. It felt unreal. Mm -hmm. But I, I in my I wanna right, I wanna live in a world where Rinka can get in. Yeah. We'll see. If she does, I'm like, ha! <laughs> yeah, but I'm joking. So do you think for uh, the finale, they'll have um, unique songs or original songs for them? Or they'll also just cover more songs? It'd be weird to cover cover songs. That, if they are to cover songs, it's going to be expensive. Like, I feel like they'll cover, like, big songs. True. We'll get another Katy Perry. <laughs> Ooh, I love that stage. Yeah. Everyone was trying to sing over everyone. Only Curly could sing the words right. I love how they... I love it. Just... I'm, I'm hoping that we see some original songs because if the finale happens and there's still no original songs, then in my mind... Real... Sorry. We won't it, know what the vibe of the group is going to be. Not just that, but in my mind is kind of... is feeling cheap, almost like they don't know what direction they want or if they're yeah. taking this group seriously in the first place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I they think... should have some music. That I think, I mean, I guess maybe we're just spoiled and we're used to this, like, oh, we get five new songs, you know? Right. I think also it was expensive enough to get this show up and running to begin with. So I mm -hmm. feel like Chuang Asia is starting completely over again. Like, oh, yeah. In a way, because it's like, they ha like, we don't know the behind the scenes, but really we don't know because mm -hmm. to get the just from understanding to get the permits to film there they're a foreign company and then they're doing this and that and then hiring people flying the all those yes and then having to pay for the housing for the chinese mentors mm -hmm. and then it's i mean i guess you know did did she choose to get housing or did she choose to stay with her family does she have a house in thailand who knows you know like she works in china but she you know what i mean so that's another thing and then on top of that you know housing for the girls is expensive how you know also the visas to get them to have work visas it's so many other like moving parts that we're not thinking i mean you know for example like they only had a few a handful of foreign members foreign contestants in chuang uh, 2020 like lana and, 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 and a few of them you know minor right so there mm -hmm. that was a plane ticket that wasn't a big deal and like you know chuang's so big tencent so big they could do that but then they took a hit I think the, everybody, every company took a hit. So for us to even get them back in this capacity, I'm grateful for. But, you know, who knows? And we might think, oh, a song might not be as expensive, but also the production, the studio time, the this, the that, the this. They might be yeah. trying to keep the cost low until they build back their finances. And then maybe it's yeah. going to be sad to say, but I feel like the next season with the boys is going to be a little bit more because the girls paved the way. Yeah, or I guess like all the songs that they might have prepared for the concept challenge, they're just yeah. gonna give it all to the group because once yeah. the group is set, yeah, that's just where all the money's gonna right. And in in that case, it's it's probably more financially thoughtful. Yeah, because they I mean, I'm I don't think they're trying to be uh like a penny pincher, but then also it's like girl groups are expensive. Yeah, board groups are expensive, but you know it's like 
and then it that also we don't even know if they're gonna like the promotion idea because they they're continuously singing in Japanese, Korean, English, Chinese, Thai. Yeah. So that's like five what Japanese, Korean, English, Thai, Chinese, right? Five languages, right? Yeah, yeah. So, English, Japanese, Korean too. Yeah, Thai, so lot, Chinese, that's... like five languages. Right. So. Where what are they considering doing? How are they going to do it? You know they can't rely on streaming it on the ten cent you know music app because they're in Thailand. We just it's a lot of uh, a lot of um, stuff that they have to negotiate that I'm sure took a lot of planning before the show even hit the air. That's probably taking a lot of funds and yeah. for them to bring it back for our entertainment. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. have to keep that in consideration. But yep. But I wish they had uh, I wish they had original songs. I really do. Mm -hmm. But if Katy Perry pops back up again and she's like, "Hey girls," you know, I'm be like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll see. My yeah, oh, I, yeah. Sorry. Any thoughts for the finale? Well, for the elimination. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh goodness. This this is the third one. That means it's gonna look so ridiculous. Is I don't I predict it's not gonna be consistent to all the other ones because it's been pretty consistent thus far. This is gonna be the one where it looks weird. My thing is that I'm kind of scared because someone who I really want is Shuayao in the group. Oh yeah. She's never she, touched top nine. If she touches but she's here, been close. If she touches it here, she's not getting in. But the thing is that I don't think she'll be the only one to touch it for the first time here. There might be oh, yeah. two or three. But that's what makes it worse because it's like, oh, finally, oh shoot. Yeah, exactly. If they if they were to touch it to get in, you need to touch it in the first, second, not third round. But you she's been like making her way up, you know. So it's a realistic growth. Sure, she could young gun it, but mm -hmm. a few other people ended up in that situation, and they were like, "Oh, we gotta fix this." Mm -hmm. So normally when someone touches it in the third round there's a few that touches it for the first time mm -hmm. but out of those people that touch it for the first time only normally one of those people get to keep it yeah yeah we'll and see. i don't know who that's going to be yeah if it to if it were anyone i'd like it to be arjing oh. or ming ming Arjing or Ming Ming. Ming, Ming? But Ming, I feel Ming has like... been in the top nine before. Like she started pretty high. Wait, oh, hasn't yeah? she? I don't remember her being in the top nine for the uh, episodes. Oh, I think she was in the original like pre. Oh, when the mentors chose the top nine, she was yeah, in that, it, but maybe yeah, but... not the voting one. Okay. Right, I might be the mixing them one. up. Yeah. But if Ming Ming touches it, she's not getting in. The only person that has a shot is Arjing. I wonder, first of all, I wonder if for the finale, if they're going to keep doing nine pick, but it seems like that's just what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And then also, I just want to know, girls who have girl groups, like mm -hmm. Eileen, Prow, Ming Ming, and Duna, yeah. mm -hmm. what do you, how are you guys going to vote for the finale? How are their fans going to vote? Because I'm anxious. Because like, if those three Mindy girls made it, I wouldn't be mad. But if none of them made it, I wouldn't, wouldn't be, be mad, mad either. Yeah. Because <laughs> I like Mindy now. I like Mindy, so... Yeah, I feel like if any, I don't know, I I would like Ming Ming to make it mm -hmm. because out of all of them, she's been the most strong, the strongest to me. Yeah. But, but I don't know. But then it's like, would it just because you're successful in the show, does that translate back to your group? We've seen that sometimes it doesn't work out. So I don't know. They might find better success, at least in Thailand, but I'm sure they want right. a little bigger than that now. Which actually, the the music market in Thailand is still pretty good, but you know, they're on Chuang Asia, so I'm sure they want like a more want a, global a more, audience too. A more Asian global audience. Yeah, exactly. We want to want to correct it because they say it's a global girl group and it's just Korea and Japan. So, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah like they even like on Mindy's... international, huh? They would want an international fan base. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you're going to say something about Mindy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, On all the comments on Mindy's, some of Mindy's videos, like the music video for Blow <laughs> My Mind, yeah. um, people are saying like, oh, I came from Chuang Asia and Mindy has a new fan. And like the admin of the page is like harding all those comments. So, <laughs> He's I like, think... He's, he's about to CSR that situation. Like, you're going to come back and we're going to film this music yes. video. And That's gonna... what I'm hoping. Like, as soon as the girls are back, they better have music for them. Like, they better. Because then what was the point? Like, you have hype on you now. 
especially after the finale when everyone's talking about it. Yeah, it's like now is the time to strike while the iron's hot. Don't exactly. Sit on it, you know. And that's don't... why CSR said, "Do not come back. Come, run it back. Fil- yep, we need to film this before we, that finale. We got the Japanese producers are in. Yep. They're gonna hit us with that next song. Sounds just like the last one we did. Yep. That song went pretty well. The the Asian fans, no Asian fans. Sorry, the anime fans loved it. Yeah. They're like, it sounds like Love Live. We need to yeah. do this now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man." Yeah, I think that's everything. And we'll yeah. try to live stream the finale. Our yeah, we, we want to be able to live stream and have fun and mm-hmm. chit chat with you guys. And then we're, oh man, this project's almost over. This was fun. This is a fun project. Yeah. Um, But we'll be back for Island 2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, but also maybe not because I... Apparently, it's a wake one girl group. Oh no! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, apparently, I thought they were going to be lift again or something like that. No. So okay. So oh my god. So um, his name is Teddy, right? From yeah, the producer. So he's gonna help produce the group, mm-hmm. but it's I don't know how they're gonna split. Is you know after the debut, right? Mm-hmm. Like, is it going to be a From It's Nine kind of thing where it's under Wake One, but then Pledis was handling it? Oh, yeah. I don't know how that's going to work. So, My thing with, is oh, Teddy still with the Black Label? So, is it. Someone like, said that they yeah. split off. Someone said the really? Black Label is its own thing, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. The Black Label left YG. Yeah. So, it's its own think, entity. Also, that is his now. Okay. That's good. So, it's kind of like. Cube used to be part of JYP and then Cube became its own thing. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that being said, um, what we can say though, because it was a big dead giveaway, is all the girls had to audition for Wake One to be a part of this show. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's at least all the girls look very competent. So it's not like a girls' planet thing where some crunch, some not crunch. Yeah. Um. Some of the girls used to be a part of Hybe. Some girls used to be part of YG. Some girls used to be part of like a lot of big companies. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So it's going to be a different show. This is my first time watching the Island format. Same. I'm so kind of worried. This is the, about... the format that made N hyphen, right? Yes. Yeah, so get your SIM cards ready. It's really good music. But that's really Hybe. Yeah. We'll see. If, Hi- if Wake One has learned their mm-hmm. lesson, <laughs> I like your smile. <laughs> yeah, like mm, have mm. they well, you know, here's the deal. Um Planet Boys, ZB1, they're doing fantastic. Oh yeah, they sold out I think the same venue that Kepler was at. They were at the same venue not even a year into their debut. With the Japanese one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but Kepler sold that out too. Um Kepler's good and big in Japan. No, but I'm saying that ZB1 sold it out. And oh, they're not oh, even a interview. year into their well, debut. Yeah, they're like well, that's because they were on top maybe. of it. That's yeah. what they were on top. I feel like, yeah. to be fair, we produced ZB1 in a way. Mm-hmm. The fans were like, we don't, they, everyone was very vocal about we don't want noise music. We want a male eyes one. Mm-hmm. And they basically became somewhat of an adjacent act of that i mean even the first song uh what what was it what, what was in the, bloom. the song in bloom in bloom yeah you know flowers people said they didn't like crush but i thought crush was nice i think crush was uh was nice it was def- it felt like a like a sequel but i feel like people didn't want it had too much noise elements Yep, that's what I was thinking too. Like, it does have the flower boy the elements, nice. but it's yes. more noisy on the noisy side. So and I guess and, a, and like people it. were very vocal about, like, there's two, again, they, ZB1 was filling a niche that wasn't being filled. Mm-hmm. That's how Eyes One was so successful. It was filling a niche that wasn't being filled. And to step into a space that's already oversaturated is unnecessary. We wanted mm-hmm. Lavi and Bros. We wanted. Fiesta frat house, you know, mm-hmm. like why do we? I don't need noise. Like, I, you know, I want. How do you even think of these things? I yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> my mind is on another level. Like Fiesta frat house, like 
just it just flows. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I I just say they want to grow out with flowers and that's what that's what they should have done. And and hopefully they'll learn from that. I mean, mm -hmm. the what Kura Kura, their Japanese song was yeah. cute, you know, and they're I feel like they got a handle on what J Japan wants. Obviously, yeah. and that is doing very well in Japan right now. Yep. So, with this Wake One Girl group, um I'm nervous cuz Teddy's doing his thing, but we don't need another but Babe Monster. Babe Monster like we'll we don't see. need another Babe Monster. We don't need another Blackpink and the and Babe thing Monster about had to like Teddy is that oh, yeah. he actually made a good variety of like high quality music until mm -hmm. Like Blackpink. mid, like yeah, or I don't want to say mid, but like um early mid Blackpink. It yeah. like once uh doo 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 like really exploded. Yeah, I really do feel like YG was like do this, like something is sticking here. So just keep making that same song over and over again. And now all their songs sound like uh, do, uh do, this song do, do, part do, one do, and then part two do, and then part three. Do, do, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. if you like that sound, is good. It's like EXID. Like not all their songs are the same, but. After oh oh, but I actually down. appreciated that. <laughs> yes. So like, if you like that sound, you're like, oh, the same song again, and this chick opens, and this chick sings the high note, and Ellie's we, gonna rap, ha. and when it, it was it, what was it, pink? Ha. Yeah, pink? hot pink. Ha. Yep. And uh, yeah, same song. All Brave the same sound. Songs. Yes. And I'm like, you know what? If it, if it's if it working, ain't broke. Yes. Like, don't try to fix it. And the fans aren't sick of it. Because I wasn't sick of it. I was like, I like these songs. What's funny is when, when EXID did their other stuff, and they used to have some, like, more elegant music. Mm -hmm. I remember, I don't remember the, the name of the song, but they're, like, in a mu museum type thing, and they're wearing these kind of, like, flowy white outfits, and the girl was rapping. And I was like, this is really interesting. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they're like, you got that nasally hint of voice? Bring that back. Run that back. She's anyway. actually the one who trained Tiana in rap. As so, she should. <laughs> Yana actually has the L.E. rapping voice. And then and then Yana trained that one girl. And, and uh, CLC to rap <laughs> the same way. Yes. 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 So they all it. of them rap like L.E. basically. I loved it. And when, she, when that girl from CLC was going all. She didn't. You see Hobgoblin. They should have done that. Part two, part three, part four. They ain't yes. learned. They, Hobgoblin was big in America. It, 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 it's It's like. It's like these groups could do so good internationally, but it didn't click that they can make money yeah, until money here. BTS and Blackpink, and I think mm. a little bit of Twice, Twilo, like Twice. started to outreach to that Pop market, off. and they're like, yeah. "Oh wait, we, we can do this mm -hmm. too." Like, <laughs> they why were like, do we you needed need someone to tell you that they were like, "Oh, we're not making that Korean dollar. We're gonna go back to that Korean stuff." I'll get back to to Chuang, but I love how CLC was popping off Western. For mm -hmm. Hobgoblin. I mean, if you went to KCON 2017 for New York, when that song hit, the whole floor was filled. And at the time, I didn't know who the heck CLC was. And I said, oh, Hiena made a new song? They're like, oh my gosh, you're so funny, CLC. And I was like, oh, so it's like seven CLC, I mean, seven Hiena girls. Like, that's what they're doing, I bet. And then they came back with Where Are You? And I'm like, oh, shoot, this is a middle finger to the fans. But yeah. Where Are You was made for just me. Mm -hmm. For just, just me. And that I was hoping it kind of reminds me actually uh -huh. four minute after yeah. four minute did crazy. They did hate, but the beginning of hate, the very beginning of hate is a totally different song than the rest of the song. So when fans heard the beginning, they're like, Oh, this is going to be a really pretty girl song. And then it goes to, I hate bum, you. Bum, bum, yes. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> they're like, Whoa, Whoa, what is this? When I heard CLC song, I thought they were going to do something similar with crazy to hate. I thought they were going to do Hobgoblin to something else. And then the whole song was just like that. And I was like, oh. Oh, girl. Oh. When they said, when they like laid down, they laid down in the like foggy, whatever. <laughs> and it, it's just all, and I'm like, this is just for me. Yeah. And I was like, please come to KCON, do Hobgoblin and immediately go into Where Are You? Like, I, I need. No, but I was manifesting it so hard. I would have been on gonna... Mnet, uh, KCON New York uh, video again, just like I was nine. <laughs> well, that was LA, but yes, I would because I would lip sync the whole song. I'd be like, yeah, I also hate that my the part I like the most is the the one girl that we don't talk about. Dang, she has some good parts in that song. Anyway, yeah. tell <laughs> us what you think about. <laughs> Chuang Asia, y'all yeah. got some bonus. <laughs> we added y'all into the group chat for a hot second. Now we're yeah. going to remove y'all for a second. But 
Tell us what your favorite performances were from this episode, episode eight, part one and two. Tell us who you're hoping to see. Who? This is a very strategic question. Tell us who you're hoping does not make the final nine for the next elimination. So they do make the final nine for the real group. Oh, you don't want them to, you don't want a Shanna. Yeah. Oh, I love you. You want to not, <laughs> who do you, not, avoid who are you hoping, who do you hope doesn't get the Shanna effect? Yeah. We could call it Fuyani because it happened to her too, but. And it happened to a few Japanese girls in Produce 48, which is rigged, but still. Yeah, no, those votes were real. <laughs> those votes were real. No, that's but that's not makes... the point. It's the panicking. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, Man. that's too. That's one too many Japanese girls we can't have. That to. lineup was beautiful. I was like, wow, that's great. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I should have learned then, but I was like, wow. I was like, this is, feels nice, and then I was like, wow. Miru's in this joint. Oh shoot, man. Oh, nice. But uh, Miru is here. Wow. Chachi, uh, I mean, it was just too good. It was too good. I was like, this feels good. And it's funny. Every time I show you, you're falling in love right stage. You're like, look at them rigged out eyes one members. Because we both are very well aware that more Japanese girls made it into that group than they're going to ever let us know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Tell us what you think about True on Asia. All right, right. True on Asia. <laughs> yeah, it's only because we're getting very close to the finale and yeah. we know how the third, like the third elimination goes. Yep. It, it's, it happens every time. Yep. Every time. You, If we're complaining, we don't even know how the boy group shows like figure out. Like That's true. <laughs> it might be even worse over there. Yeah. What happened with ZV1 with Boys Planet? Was I was there... checked out. Yeah, I... <laughs> you were like, Ricky? Cool. Next. Yeah, I was doing my Ricky thing, trying to win my Tesla and that fake um, voting thing, <laughs> voting competition. You you were like, you, you kept telling me, why are you not voting for today? And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he's there just for you. Is it? No, he's yeah. not. He's, he's, he's not. I mean, he's, he's... You know who I wanted. Mm -hmm. I wanted... Doha, mm -hmm. I need one. I need the blue house. Oh, he would have fit that flower boy. Yes. That. Don't get me started. The but if I'm not song in bloom. It's okay. But this, he anyways, he would have been da 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 da. Yeah. He would have ate that dance up in these tall <laughs> limbs, his long limbs. Man, yeah. he would have been a great visual member. Yeah. He would have been a great man. You know what? Who's the guy that did that did um that the boy song and he got in? He it's Yuvin. Yuvin. Oh, he he that he he secured his spot in one episode. He said, "Can I dance to the boys? I'm falling in love." And he immediately got in. We gotta he, finish this podcast. I'm time. sorry. Um, we have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot to say about survival shows. Tell yeah. us what you think. We love you guys so much. So I hope you enjoyed the extra bonus content at the end. Yeah. Um. Tell us what you're expecting for um, if you want to tell us what you're expecting from um Island too. We love mm -hmm. you guys so much. Until next time, summer dream, summer dream. <laughs> Bye guys. Sorry.